Today I am going to be sharing a couple of fall inspired recipes. I love using flavors from the fall like apples and cranberries. I love using herbs like thyme and sage to really give it that savory kind of, you know, comfort food feeling. So I hope you guys try these out. The first recipe I'm going to be sharing is a quinoa stuffed acorn squash. Um, I use cranberries and apples and celery in this and it is divine. I have shared this recipe before, I think last year, um, but I definitely feel like I should share it again just because it is that good. I found a recipe very similar to this on the internet um, many, many years ago when I first went plant-based. I cannot find the post that it came from. I would love to give that person credit because that is kind of what I based this one off of. It's a very similar. Um, so if you recognize it and you know where the post came from, please let me know so I can give that creator some credit. So I can give that creator some credit. I have already um, roasted this acorn squash a little bit for probably about 20 minutes, just a hole on the rack. And I am always struggling to cut squash, especially when I'm trying to do it on camera. But um, once it was soft, I cut it and then scooped out all the seeds. And then I flip it over so it is um, open side down on the cookie sheet. And then I throw it back in there and then I just check it every like 10 minutes after this um, just to make sure it's getting nice and cooked. I am going to be cooking up a cup of quinoa. So one cup dry quinoa to about two and a half cups water. And then I'm going to like rough chop about three ribs of celery. And then I'm also going to rough chop this apple. No, I did not see that sticker, even though I did wash the apple, apparently not so observant. But yeah, I just kind of rough chop these into like small bite-sized pieces. And then I throw the celery and apple into a pan with a little bit of water and just cook until they're softened. And instead of using dried herbs, I am just really bringing out that culinary expertise <laughs> and using some fresh thyme and sage. So I just kind of take apart the leaves of the thyme and then rough chop the sage. Once the quinoa is done and the apples and celery are soft, I just start mixing them together in a big skillet. And then I'm adding cranberries. I probably should have washed them first, but I figure they're getting hot anyway, so what the heck? So yeah, I just add a little more water if I need it, and then you cook the cranberries until they either start to like pop or are really soft. And then I just put in all of the chopped herbs. I 
Along with the quinoa stuffed acorn squash, I, for whatever reason, I'm having the hardest time getting that out. Um, I like to put a little bit of cranberry sauce on top, so that is the next recipe I'm going to be sharing. It is used as a condiment. You're not gonna be eating this by the spoonful, but it is really delicious, and it's a good take on a you know cranberry sauce. I am gonna take three large, just navel oranges and juice them. I didn't record it, but I added the orange juice into this um, sauce pot and then I added a full bag of cranberries. Once they are soft, I add about half of a tablespoon of maple syrup and then I just stir that around. You can add more if you don't like it to be so sour. The final recipe I'm going to be sharing is a maple glazed like vegetable roast. I love roasted carrots and so I started doing this recipe with just carrots but Brussels sprouts, green beans, um, mushrooms are all really like fall veggies so I've been adding that in with the carrots and it is so yummy. Um, I really love like just the offset in flavors and I can kind of dress it up however I want with different spices and herbs. So. This is just kind of like a base that you can use and then you can add whatever you like to on top of that. For this recipe, I usually just like to use the vegetables that I have on hand that are good in a roast. Um, for the carrots or any starchier vegetables, I do like to steam them and I forgot to do this today, but what I do is I just peel them and then I chop them up since these are all varying sizes I just did them lengthwise because that was the easiest way for me to get them around the same size Once your veggies are all set to go, I just add one half of a tablespoon of maple syrup. You just want a very light coating on there. You don't want it really thick. And then I added a little bit of salt and fresh thyme. Fresh rosemary is actually really delicious, but um, this is what I had to work with. When using mushrooms, I always like to de-stem them because I don't digest the stems very well. So I always take the stems off and then I just cut these ones in half. Once they're all set to go, I just throw them on the roasting pan and roast them for about 20 minutes on 400.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys try some of these recipes. If you do, let me know and let me know how you like them or didn't like them. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful fall and I will see you in the next video.